Well, good morning, Calvary. Thanks for tuning in for your word for the day today. My name is Robert, and it's always a joy having you join us for these videos. And, uh, you know, it's interesting as we work through the Bible, how we're approached with different topics and thoughts that come up. And as we look at today's uh, passage in the book of Psalms, I actually want to start with something that uh, I think is incredibly uh, prevalent in our Christian culture that is an outright lie and deception, and that is following Jesus prevents anything bad from happening. Uh, and that's a lie that just seems to creep in from all corners and all directions. And it's this, this false belief that if we just love Jesus and follow him, that God will prevent all the bad, painful, difficult, tragic things from entering our life. And that breaks down in a lot of ways. Uh, first, in living life, we realize well, that doesn't actually happen that way. Um, but also, we start to dig into Scripture, we see that, hey, that, that's actually not reinforced anywhere in the Bible. Instead, we're told that God will be with us, that God will uh, help us, that God will walk with us through those difficulties, that God will redeem our tragedies for his glory. Uh, we see those things. We don't see an outright uh, shielding, hey, this just prevents everything from happening. And, and I started with the, hey, if you've lived life, you know that. And today, as we look at uh, Psalm chapter 12, we see a little bit of that. Uh, the psalmist is it's lamenting, and, and every now and then we get different categories of psalms, and, and most of them have a more positive, upbeat, worshipful uh, kind of feel to them, but you get these moments in the book of psalms that are a little bit more melancholy, a little bit more reflective on the tragedies and difficulties of life, and that's where we find ourselves in chapter 12. And, uh, and, and in chapter 12 here, it's referring to more of a, a national level problem that they were facing. But I think we could reflect on this uh, in our personal lives as we face issues of people hurting us, uh, betraying us, saying words that, that hurt or, or uh, you know, attack us. Uh, we can resonate with this on a personal side. So let's take a look. Psalm 12, what is the issue? Well, it says, verse 1, Save, O Lord, for the godly one is gone. For the faithful have all vanished from among the children of men. Everyone utters lies to his neighbor with flattering lips and a double heart they speak. So we have the problem there. The, the faithful people, the world are gone. Everyone's lying. Everyone's attacking each other verbally. The, they're just uh, biting and attacking and devouring one another. And maybe you feel that about our nation. Maybe as you're watching on you know, your platform of choice, if you're on YouTube or Facebook uh, right now, you're like, man, this is the little glimmer of hope in my news feed of just a bunch of uh, vile and uh, you know, just perverse stuff that just is so readily available to us. The Psalm continues, verse 3, it says, May the Lord cut off all these flattering lips and the tongue of those who make great boasts, those who say with our tongue we will prevail, our lips are with us, who will be master over us? The lament continues of saying, God, do something. God, step into this. And so, so far as we read through the psalm, we see just a, a painful uh, tone, this, this, uh, this tone of disappointment and hope for what could be. But then we get to verse 5, and it says this, it says, quote, Because the poor are plundered, because the needy groan, I will now arise, says the Lord. I will place him in the safety for which he longs. Listen to this, verse 6, The words of the Lord are pure words, like silver refined in a furnace on the ground, purified seven times. He's reflecting and sharing what, what God had revealed to him of even in the midst of a, a nation in a moment where everything's about lies and attack and in condemnation of words. The Lord's words are pure, referring to the promises and the, the, the words of scripture and how God has revealed himself to us and you see that, that switch that flips there and halfway through the psalm of there's hope in the midst of the tragedy because God is good, because God arises, because God's words are true and pure and full of life and hope for us. So I don't know where you find yourself today. I don't know what tragedy you're uh, walking through, what difficulty you're facing, what attacks are coming your way, but I hope that you hear the, the hope that is there in Psalm chapter 12, that the Lord will arise, that his promises are good, that he'll be with us through our difficulties, that he'll walk with us side by side and rejoice as we find redemption in the difficult places of our life. 
And so today I hope that that's where you find your hope as well. And not that following Jesus will just make all of that disappear because we know that it won't, but we know that God will be with us, that God will walk with us, and will redeem uh, the difficult areas of our life for his goodness and glory so that we can worship him. And I hope that that is your truth today. Have a great day, Calvary. We'll see you next time.